Hi Indigo, I'm Tana French and I'm the author of Broken Harbour. In a lot of ways, Broken Harbour is about people who are trying to do everything right, who are trying to do everything that they're supposed to do. Um, Scorcher Kennedy is a detective who plays everything by the book and he tries to keep his life very much under control and he's called to a case where a case that won't stay under control in the way he'd like it to. A man and his two children are dead on one of the abandoned ghost estates that litter Ireland at this point. They're half built, they're half inhabited, they're probably never going to be finished. And on one of these estates, a man and his two children are dead and the wife is barely alive. And Scorcher gets called in to deal with this case. At first it looks like a straightforward murder-suicide brought on by despair, unemployment and isolation. But uh, gradually th there are too many things that won't fit in. There are holes in the walls with cameras pointing at them. Somebody's been watching this family from a hide made in an abandoned house. And slowly, as the case gets more and more out of control, so does Scorcher's personal life. In a lot of ways, this book came from when my husband and I were trying to buy a house a few years ago. Everybody from the government to our bank kept trying to persuade us to buy on one of these new build estates that were springing up out in the middle of nowhere. That was what our generation was supposed to do at the time. That was the right thing to do. Now, luckily we're both actors, so doing what we're supposed to do isn't something we've ever been very good at. And we said no. But a lot of our generation got sucked into this. And now, now that the property crash has come, they're stuck on these estates out in the middle of nowhere. No street lighting, open sewage pits, and they can't get out. And I, I couldn't stop thinking about this, about the fact that it's more or less pure luck that we're not the ones stuck out there. And gradually that turned into Broken Harbour, which is a book about people who do things right, people who follow the rules, and what happens when the rules let them down. I'm really looking forward to Broken Harbour being published in Canada, and I very much hope you enjoy it.